guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Last time we made it to the future and unlocked the Wings of Time. Wings of Time is a time machine that allows us to get back to 12,000 BC. And with that, we're in the Beast Nest. I've taken care of all of the enemies around here and switched up my party a little bit. And we're going to move that off you and I think I'm going to give you the Power Ring for now. I'm going to go with the charm top because that could be useful upcoming. The other option would be to just give you something with more power or counterattack or something like that. We've got uh, Luca along for a couple of reasons. And those are our basic setups at this point. Everyone's got rainbow helms except for Luca. You could give her a rainbow helm if you wanted to. It's hit or miss. I think the 10 magic defense is... Considering that's 10 magic defense for all elemental damage, it probably balances out with 50% of only one elemental reduction. It's possible. It, it might be better to give her the Rainbow Helm. I don't know. Hard to say. Anyway. That being said, you can't pass through here. Okay. Are you sure I can't pass through here? Are you sure you're going to stay awake to stand in my way? The answer is no. The one of them goes to sleep. I don't think the other is susceptible to it, but uh, let's do some charming while we're here. Uh, each of the elemental beasts can be charmed for something different. We get a mermaid cap from you. Um, I'm gonna target you. He will ride the uh, the mud imp will ride the either of the beasts into battle to deal some damage to you. Um, he has very high physical defense There are and magic defense. There are two ways of defeating this battle. Uh, defeating uh, the beasts is one option. I, don't, I think this guy has a crappy item. I, re I remember him having a crappy item. It's not like the, like the mermaid cap is like the rainbow cap. Okay, it's an elixir. It's not crap, but it's not fantastic either. And let's see. Charm you. If they don't have uh, one of them asleep, I will show you what they will do. I'm pretty sure you have an item, and I'm pretty sure I want it, so give it to me. Now, when I was a kid and when I saw it was the thought that counted, I wasn't exactly sure what they were going for there. Now that I, you know, I've grown up and it's like, oh, it was the thought that counted, it wasn't necessarily a great gift. I, I find it very amusing. I think it's a great line to put. Uh, but as a kid, I didn't really understand. What do you mean it was the thought that counted? Where's my item? <laughs> I just didn't understand it properly. But uh, I like that uh, play that's there on Rick. I know you have an item. But yeah, if you target him when they're both free, they will counterattack with that, and it does quite a bit of damage. So your best bet is to Hypno-Wave the other ones to sleep. At least the one of them. Aren't they? Might, yeah, they're both susceptible. Try this one more time. He will uh, go and heal every once in a while. There's my speed tab. Thank you very much, video game. All right, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, you can take out the other two if you want, and one of the ways I would recommend doing that, stop doing that, is with the Falcon Hit technique, because it hits everyone and it just does lots of damage. It's very, very nice. As you can see, it does lots more damage to the others, but then you got to deal with the counterattack all the time and it does a lot of damage. So the way of fighting against the counterattacks is to use sleep and then, hey, and then you don't have to worry about it as much. And she's dead. Okay, uh, let's use the life spell. And then, sure, we actually have a reason to once you cast it. We'll use the Protect spell on uh, Ayla while well, she's, well, she's not going to be super low on life, but a little lower on HP there, just so we can show it off, because I don't use it particularly often. And you know what? Let's go for the, uh, the Falcon hit here. I just love this move. One of my favorite dual techs in the entire game. It's just so valuable. 
even if it does cause these guys to counterattack. Alright, so Hypno Wave. As you can see, they get a lot of turns off when they're not asleep, so that's your ideal way of dealing things is to, you know, bring Luca and abuse the crap out of sleep. And let's heal you. There we go. And as I said before, you do have to be aware that uh, this guy will heal all of his, uh, his party members there. So you do have to be aware of that. So you do need to do quite a bit of damage to this guy. Use a rock throw on him. There's not really a lot of good ways of dealing damage. He just has a really high amount of HP. Um, try for a bolt bite there. Let's see if that does any better damage. And we'll try a fire spell, why not? Nope, not very good. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, a lot of the enemies that have high uh, high defense, they seem to react worse to fire than most other elements. I'm not sure if there's a particular reason for that or what it is. Let's try the flame kick there. And we'll mid-tonic somebody. Just so that we get a little more HP, because we're a little low. And you're sleeping. Fire sword it is. This is not a short boss fight by any stretch of the imagination. I, this isn't a particularly well executed boss fight by me, but um, it, it's definitely not a short boss fight, and it's not easy either. Especially considering they rely so heavily on counterattacks and they do quite a bit of damage with it. So you do have to be aware. And you do have to kind of, you know, not go too out of the way trying to do lots of damage all at once and try and keep up with his uh, healing. It's unfortunate. Probably should bring Ayla back from the uh, from nap time there, but... As you can see with the rocks, he can wake uh, his, uh, his fellow beasts up there. But once you defeat him, the other ones fall. Like I said, the other option is to defeat the other ones, which removes their counterattacks, which means you can then target him without worrying about it. There's two ways of taking down that fight. You can choose whichever you want to. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Let's bring in Robo now for a little bit, and let's uh, do some healing. There we go. I'm gonna be using all my party members upcoming in various fights, just because it's... Hey, cool. Floating rock! Speaking of rocks, I'm actually going to uh, sub you out right away. Okay, so I did uh, switch up my party. It's always hard to say how you want to deal with this, but uh, what I've done here is I've given the Berserker to both uh, Chrono and Robo, and given the Frog to the Masamune with the Hero Medal. The reason for this will become apparent once we talk to this rock. This rock is called Rubble. Lock all can't use text or items. There is no way to bypass this. The only way to target this guy is with physical attacks. So the best way of dealing with it is Berserkers, Hit Rings, uh, Speed Equipment, that type of thing, and trying to kill them as quickly as possible. And unfortunately, they have super high uh, physical uh, there it is, beautiful. Super high evasion. 1,000 experience, 100 tech points! 100 tech points! Okay, I gotta talk about uh, what I've heard through speedrunning tech is a bit of a glitch. I'm not sure if I actually did that or not. Um, I've heard that if you gain tech points and learn a tech in the same battle, it will duplicate the amount of tech points that you actually gain. Now, I don't know if this is fact or not, but was it, didn't have that much before. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. So we won't be able to tell for sure, but I'm going to use probably these guys to fight a lot of the rubbles around here, just because they all have decent physical attack power. And... Uh, 
use a MIDI drum channel there. And just because in many of the other fights, I'm going to have to use Ayla, and I'll just use one of the girls kind of throughout the, uh, the rest of the area. And the reason for that is, is we're going to want to do a lot of stealing around here. Uh, I guess we'll go over here first. Now, there aren't random battles around here, but all of the enemies are usually on strange, uh, like, uh, pixel points where you just hit a certain pixel and then all of a sudden you have to, you know, that's where, you know, the enemy is spawned from. So here we can get an alloy blade. And I wonder if you get something different from the imps once they're just imps here. So we'll try that. Maybe not. We'll try one more time with Twin Charm here. We should have a relatively high chance of getting it. I guess they have nothing. I can't, I can never remember. All I know is I come in here and then I just get all the items from all the different guys in here. 24 tech points. You get a lot of tech points from just fighting uh, normal enemies as well. I am going to take the Berserker off for normal fights, and I guess I'll give you the Power Ring or something. I don't really want counterattacks uh, in here, just because we don't want to kill the enemies before we steal from them, and stealing from them is going to be very important. There are a lot of enemies around here, and I would recommend stealing from them multiple times if you uh, spent a bunch of money, because the... Um, like, the items that we get here are more powerful. I forgot to equip uh, Chrono's new sword. But, um... But yeah, it's it's just a good idea because we can get a bunch of money back that way. We have access to Confuse now. I will, uh, I'll demonstrate that here. Confuse. It doesn't look like a Confuse, now does it? <laughs> Yeah, they renamed this, I think, Frenzy in the uh, DS version of the game. Nice critical. Um, and it makes more sense that way. I've always just had it as confused, and when I first looked at it, I was like, eh, I don't know what confused is. Of course, I was at a time when I wasn't using confused in any game because I this was my first RPG. And so I didn't really know what it was. All I remember was that when I was like, I don't know what this is, and I tried to use it, I was like, well, it's really really good and so i'm just going to keep using it and then it just became known as confuse and when i saw it in other games as something completely different it didn't make as much sense so yeah the alloy blade as you can see it's more powerful it doesn't have the uh the 1.5 hit on magic enemies function but other than that it's still you know really really powerful more powerful than we had before so we want to make use of it so there's another one of those guys. Let's see if we can find another battle. Nope. There's a load helm. If you remember, we talked to a new in Zeal saying he had load shields, but he couldn't sell them yet. Of course, you know, we don't have shields in this game, which I didn't don't think I pointed out at the time, but uh, the uh, load helm is just a, you know, a helm. It's not necessarily better. Uh, the mermaid cap, as you can see, is basically the same as the rainbow cap. It's just, you know, water instead of lightning. So it's probably a good idea to give that to someone like... Uh, let's see here. Someone like you, who already has immunity to uh, lightning-type damage. So we'll give it to you instead. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And, of course, whenever we run into these guys, I will just be swapping around my party so that I can best take advantage of trying to finish these guys off really quickly. The reason for Frog and the uh, Hero Metal is because that way he has a higher chance of criticaling, so if he does hit, he has a much higher chance of doing a critical hit, doing more damage. But yeah, the super high uh, physical evade can be really tedious with these fights. So you're basically just going on hope, because if you don't finish them off 
fast enough, they run away and you can't fight them again, which is unfortunate. And that may end up happening this time, because it's not looking so good here. Yeah, so he ran away. I miss out on all those tech points. It's the unfortunate side of things around here. There's not really any way of dealing with it, um, but we'll just switch our characters up and I'll be able to show off pretty much everyone getting at least some amount of usage around here for sure. This is a long area and there are lots of different areas we can go to around here and lots to explore, lots of nice items to find, lots of nice items to steal. Okay, forgot to take the Berserker off again. This is probably going to be a pattern. Here we get a big hand. Okay then, continuous tech. HP goes to one. Owie! That hurt. Let's, uh, let's do some healing. <laughs> All right, we did a little bit of healing up. Here's the, uh, the save point if you want it. And I didn't go around to the left side. I'm not 100% familiar with where... Okay, it's just a, just a rubble over here. And no battle there. I guess I'll put the Berserker back on. And now that we have access to it, I also ran over to the save point and I used that first. So if I fail to take out this guy, I can reload and try again. Which is pretty much how you want to go about this if you are trying to uh, farm as much tech, as many tech points as you possibly can. Um, and I would recommend getting a lot of tech points here just because it's a really quick, really easy way of doing it. Uh, you don't have to do all that much in the fights. Um, it's a little tedious because you're not ever sure if you're going to hit the guy or not. But it's uh, definitely worth, you know, making sure to use your save points and trying your best to uh, get as many tech points out of this situation as possible. Alright, so we got that one. And we're going to run up and we're going to save again. Save over the same file I just made a moment ago. Okay, that's fine too. We will uh, we'll fight this battle too. I don't have uh, Luca to do any stealing and everyone is set up with Berserkers, but uh, sure, why not? There's a nice critical hit. And I didn't give you your big hand there, Robo. Uh, by the way, that's what that... Uh, that item is for. It's a new weapon for Robo. So we will see what that does in a moment here. But yeah, the Berserkers increase the amount of damage you do, plus your 30 tech points. Oh crap. Plus your uh, techs get off or your attacks get off instantly instead of waiting, so that's nice. So yeah, Megaton Arm. Don't buy any of the items in town. I specifically said that when we were there. Uh, just don't worry about it. Not worth it over here. Shield. Load Vest. We'll take a quick look at that. Um, load Vest is technically one defense point more powerful, but it doesn't protect you against any particular element, so I'll give that to Frog there, who didn't have anything to begin with. And yeah. I could also try and give it to uh, Luca if I will, or uh, Ayla if I wanted to. Alright. Save, please after taking out the battle that I forgot was there. And then we'll fight this guy. And hopefully we can manage to finish this guy off too. These aren't the most entertaining fights in the world, but uh, it's very exciting as you're playing the game because you know you could, you know, get lucky at any time and, you know, win the fight and get a hundred tech points which is like five or six more uh, battles that you could otherwise fight to get that many. Water too. Fantastic. All right. And we've already made good progress on Illuminaire, ultimate damage on all enemies. And we're working on Uzi Punch too. Let's throw that up there. And we learned Water too. Now we can work on Cure too. 
uh, restores an ally's, ally's HP to full. It's overkill, but it's nice to have single targeting that completely heals you. Working on those two as well. If it looks like I'm going to need more by the time we get to the end, there are ways of grinding these guys because, well, they don't technically respawn. We save. Reset. Load up that same file. There is... I didn't realize that battle respawned. I don't remember that battle respawning, but what I do remember is this is the only rubble in this entire area that actually does respawn. And you can, if you want to, write them and learn all of your text right here, if you so desire. If you don't have to, it's kind of overkill to try and grind all of your techs here. But at the same time, there are a couple that it would be nice to grab. Um, so if I need to, what I will be doing is I'll be coming back with uh, Ayla and the girls to fight this guy toward the end of the area if I'm still missing enough tech points to learn Tailspin by the end of the area, which is something I do want to do. Uzi Punch! Lovely. So we learned Uzi Punch there, which now we're working on Area Bomb, which is, I always find the description for this one interesting. Damage the enemy with Melt Beam. Then shouldn't it be called a Melt Beam instead of an Area Bomb? Or it's called Melt Beam and, you know, it damages the enemy with an Area Bomb? I don't know. It just, it seems weird. Yeah, we do want to get uh, the girls to learn their uh, level 2 uh, abilities there, so we're going to bring them in. Bring in uh, Marley here first. Uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? I need... I need to take the uh, Berserker off. I knew I needed to do something. I knew I opened my menu for a reason. All right. So now that we've done that, and I've demonstrated that you can indeed uh, do that if you need to, I don't think any of the other... Well, this battle's here too. Cool. Okay, all the battles seem to respawn. But the rubbles don't, except for that one. The one that you'll never see along the path again. So it, it's a clever move of hiding the grinding spot, um, but it is there in case you want to do it. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I am going to use a shelter. They are quite valuable in this area because it's a long area and we're going to be spending a decent amount of time uh, going through here because not only is it a long area, the battles are starting to get a little tougher, which is why we got such powerful equipment before coming in here. And yeah, that's pretty much all the time we had for today. Next time we will continue through the Mountain of Woe see if we can save the blue of life. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we made a... Where the fuck did we do last time? Um, We obtained the wings of time last time. Okay. 